has come to change our lives forever. Building our nations and our homes, restoring sights to the blind, bringing hope to the hopeless. It goes beyond language barrier. Cause it's a God Welcome. Um, we're going for the third study. Angel, the rest of the world. But thank God for the Holy Spirit who reveals all truth unto us. Where would we be without the Holy Spirit? The Rhapsody of Realities has been given to us to reach every man, to preach the gospel to the ends of the earth. Hallelujah. Welcome everyone. It's another glorious time with the Word on Rhapsody Dailies your favorite devotional program. We are reaching you from Dubai and my name is Pastor Lani and co-hosting with me is Pawan. Hello and welcome. It's so great to know that no one is left behind Amen. in the impact and influence of Rhapsody of Realities. Rhapsody of Reality is currently translated into 2,153 languages, including Braille, along with the audio format of the devotion and Rhapsody of Realities in sign languages. It is possible to shine the light of God's word into the hearts of visually and auditory impaired people around the world. Wow, that's great. You can join this all-important campaign by sponsoring the distribution of Rhapsody of Realities in Braille and Sign Language formats, not only in your city but also in regions beyond. You can also support the translation of the Rhapsody Braille format into more strategic languages. For more information how to get involved, please visit www.reachoutworld.org. Let's make a difference together. It's time for some insights as we learn more from today's message titled, His Word, A Guiding Light. But before we delve into the message, let's go for a short break. Stay tuned, we will be right back. You are watching Rhapsody Dailies. Within the pages of Rhapsody of Realities, you'll encounter not just words, but radiant beams of life itself. The transformative messages resonate in you and ignite a spark within, illuminating your path. Immerse yourself in these words and witness a daily metamorphosis that transcends ordinary living. Jesus was different. His words were powerful as they were gracious. That's why people take Rhapsody. You take Rhapsody, you feel like, oh God, why didn't I find this book before now? I wish I saw it 10 years ago. Oh, now you don't know what to do with it. You feel like, do I eat it? What do I do? <laughs> yes, just meditate on it. It'll work. Dive into the divine and be embraced by the luminescence of Rhapsody of Realities this month. Rhapsody of Realities is available in 8,123 languages known in the world. It's also available in all formats, including the Early Reader for Kids, the TiVo for Teenagers, the Sign Language, Digital and Audio, and the Braille version for the Visually Impaired. Get a copy of Rhapsody of Realities today. Download from the Rhapsody of Realities mobile app store or visit the Rhapsody of Realities website to subscribe today. For more information, visit www.rhapsodysubscriptions.com or the Rhapsody mobile app or call the numbers on your screen. Welcome back to Rhapsody Dailies, your favorite devotional program. Today is November 8th and we are reaching you from Dubai. Today's message is titled, His Word, A Guiding Light. Praise the Lord! Get now your copies of Rhapsody of Realities and let us all read together. In Psalm 36 verse 9, For with there is the fountain of life, in thy light shall we see light. Some people allow past experiences or disappointments to shape the relationship with God. 
and that's wrong. God's Word is and must remain the foundation of your walk with Him. Your daily relationship with Him should be guided by His Word, not by what you have faced or what others say. His Word is the light that guides us every step of the way. Hallelujah! And that's true. In my old life, I tend to rely on what the people says about my life and even to what I have learned while I grew up is about what God would tell if He is in front of me. I used to hear words or phrases like, if I do something which is not pleasing to the people around me, sometimes they're saying like this phrase says, if only God will come down, He will strike your face because of your mistakes. And sometimes if you do something like above their standards of our friends, for example, I go to church every day, they will say to you, hey, you're going again to church. You're so religious. Just be careful because you might cross over the heaven. So all this uh, uh, praises you can hear from them. And I could say that my relationship with God before is like a point system. If I do something good, oh, I got the three points added. But if I do something wrong, oh, minus points. These are some practices and expressions that I have never thought, even I don't understand. And I never think of that it would have an effect in my life. I am reading the word, but my heart could not understand it. It comes only to my knowledge, but never been in the revelation and manifestation. But when I heard about the true gospel of Jesus Christ, I started to hear for only a few verses, only a few, two verses to be exact, John 3, 16 and Romans 6, 23. They were mentioned to me and it was like, wow, I was overwhelmed. Something has come deeply into my heart and it's not just heard, but words that are talking to me. Words that are alive and talking to my heart. Remember the words of the psalmist. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Psalms 119 verse 105. Those who ignore the word grope in the dark and face so many calamities in life. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Hosea 4.6 The word of God is your life and your light. So never be casual or too familiar with the word. Amen. This verse highlights the illuminating power of God's word in guiding our decisions and our life. Just a lamp dispel darkness and allow us to see the path ahead. The teaching and truth in scripture show us the way forward, helping us to avoid pitfalls and make wise choices. Without this divine light, we risk stumbling lost in spiritual darkness. This verse underlines the danger of neglecting God's word when we ignore his wisdom we risk spiritual destruction and disconnection from God's presence. Without His guidance, mm -hmm. we are vulnerable to deception, temptation, and confusion. Amen. Ignorance of God's word isn't just a lack of information, it's a lack of transformation. Together, these verses remind us that God's word is essential to our spiritual well-being. It only illuminates our journey, but also shields us from harm by giving us wisdom and understanding. When we embrace His word, we live in the light of His truth and are safeguarded against the danger of ignorance. God's word is like a beacon leading us toward spiritual growth, peace, and eternal life. By embracing His life, we stay aligned with His purpose and avoid the destruction that ignorance can bring. Glory to God. That was a powerful exhortation of the Word of God. Amen. It's been a great time sharing today's message. But join us again after the break for more. You are watching Rhapsody Dailies. Introducing our new app features, the Rhapsody Alarm. Never miss an article with the Rhapsody Alarm feature. Now you can set a timer and wake up to Rhapsody Audio been read out to you. The Rhapsody Study Plans. Enjoy this great new collection of carefully packaged plans on various life topics ranging from health to healing. How to overcome fear or guilt. Walking in love. How to get winning ideas. How do I increase wealth, and so much more. Now you can join the competition on the Rhapsody Top Users Leaderboard, watch your performance, be inspired by others and do more with the app to get more points and be the next top app user in your city, 
nation, or zone. Rhapsody of Realities app, your guide for life, get on board, available for download on www.lwappstore.com. Welcome back to Rhapsody of Realities, your favorite devotional program. Today's message is titled, His Word, A Guiding Light. Amen. So let's continue to read on Rhapsody. Let the truths and realities of the scriptures stir you up all the time. Love the word, hear the word, and acknowledge it, and then live the word. That's what you need to win every day. That's what you need to walk in the supernatural every day. The Lord Jesus said in John 8, 12, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. And how do you follow him? Actually, it was a very good question. How do we follow Jesus, especially during this time? During our time, he's not with us anymore. Could remember in the word of God how the disciples follow Jesus. They are with Jesus. They leave behind all that they have, their job, their families. Even some of the disciples leave the burial of their father. That's how Jesus had impacted their lives, even though they are not yet been together for times. And as I ask myself, how do I follow Jesus? And as I learn, it is by doing His words. Acting on the word of Jesus, keeping it and bringing it into life is following him. He's not here to tell me now what to do. But the word of God, which was written and continuously speaking to me like a living word, was given to me by Jesus. You know why it's like a living word? Because Jesus, our God, the word is alive. We are the living word of God. Means the word of the Lord is actively working and supernaturally happening and faithfully manifesting. Praise Jesus, Amen. the living word that lives in me. That's why Apostle Paul confidently says in Galatians that it is no longer I who lives, but it is Christ who lives in me. Hallelujah. Let's continue the rhapsody. You follow him in the word, through the word and by the word. Then he says, when you follow him, not only will you not walk in darkness, you will have the light of life. In other words, you will have answers. You will have solution Amen. to life's issues and problems. You will be a victor all the way. You will know exactly which way to go and what the direction for your life is. That's what the word gives you. Light gives direction. Light shows the way. God's word, his light, illuminates your path to see apprehend and walk in the path God has preordained for you, His destiny for your life. Hallelujah! In following Christ, we are not simply adhering to a set of rules or an ancient text. We are embracing life and light. Through God's word, we are promised not just illumination but transformation as it reveals God's path, purpose and presence. Jesus assured us that as we walk in his word, we will never stumble in the darkness of confusion or despair. The Lord. Instead, we are blessed with the light of life, a light that not only reveals, but empowers, guiding us confidently through every season and challenge of life. This divine illumination through scripture does more than simply provide knowledge or moral guidelines. It shapes our very identity. In the word, we find answers to life pressing questions, comfort in our trials, and wisdom for each decision. It's through his word that God speaks to us personally, showing us who we are, reminding us of his promises. The word becomes a daily guide, helping us navigate with clarity and confidence, regardless of the obstacles we face. When challenges or uncertainties arise, the scripture provides clarity and insight, empowering us to walk in His preordained path for us. By keeping our hearts and minds in the Word, we are aligned with God's wisdom and experience His peace. Problems that once seemed impossible 
now become opportunities to witness his power at work. We gain insight and solution directly from his heart, enabling us to approach life with the victorious mindset he has called us to. His word not only shows us the way, but makes us able to walk in it with confidence and courage, knowing that his light goes before us. Wow, it was really a beautiful and wonderful time meditating the word of God. And to continue, I would like you to confess with me this prayer. Dear Father, Dear Father, I thank you for your word. I thank you for your word. That is a guiding light in my life. That is a guiding light in my life. Illuminating my path. Illuminating my path. As I fulfill my destiny in Christ. As I fulfill my destiny in Christ. Guided by your truth and wisdom. Guided by your truth and wisdom. Thank you for granting me answers. Thank you for granting me answers. Solutions. Solutions. And the clarity I need. And the clarity I need. To fulfill my purpose. To fulfill my purpose. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And for our further study, we can read the verses from Proverbs chapter 6, verse 23, John chapter 1, verse 4, John chapter 8, verse 12. Praise the Lord. We would like also to encourage you to have a heart in reading the whole Bible. And Pastor Chris gives us a perfect plan to follow. For a one-year Bible reading plan, you can read it from Hebrews 8 and Jeremiah 52. And for two years Bible reading plan, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 1 to 14 and Ezekiel chapter 39. Glory, we will have a short break. For the meantime, stay tuned and we will be right back. We are on the road to Reach Out World Day, and the excitement is building up. We will distribute rhapsody of realities everywhere in the world. In the aircrafts, in the trains, in the buses, every nation, every city, every town. And we're giving it to them in their language. The language the best understand. Millions everywhere are preparing and ready to cover the world with the knowledge of God's Word as the waters cover the seas on December 2nd. But guess what? That's just the beginning. Our mission will continue throughout the entire month of December with the impact reverberating into every corner of the globe as we now have an entire month to saturate the nations with the gospel of Christ. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations, Matthew 20 for 14. This is our focus. Have you been sponsoring, engaging, enlisting, and distributing Rhapsody of Realities for this global gospel crusade? This is your moment to give and give big for the spread of the gospel. So, join us to see daily and sponsor Rhapsody of Realities in all 8,123 languages and for 1,000 dialects it's available in. Join Pastor Chris today to reach over 10 billion people across the globe with God's Word. You're with me on this? Tell me, are you with me on this? We're going to make it happen. And the Reach Out World Day Prayer March is still ongoing. Join us in these non-stop heartfelt prayers for the nations and peoples of the earth. Visit rowwdeprayermarch.mystreamspace.org to be part of this. Take action now the journey has begun and it will culminate in an eternal impact as we prepare for the glorious rapture of the church. To sign up and enlist others to be a part of Reach Out World Day, please visit www.reachoutworld.org. You can also call us now. God bless you. Welcome back to Rhapsody Dailies. Glory to God. Today's article was so inspiring Remember to take the confessions and follow through the Bible study plan. This year, make up your mind to read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. A diligent study of Rhapsody of Realities will definitely cause a tremendous change in your life. Rhapsody of Realities is one of the wonders of the world, one material in every known language of the world. There's nothing like it. Join us to fill the earth with the wonder material. Rhapsody Wonder Challenge give you the opportunity to sponsor at least one copy of Rhapsody of Realities in all 8,123 languages. 
Imagine the incredible impact you can have in the lives of people all around the world by spreading the message of hope and limitless possibilities from a single location. Take the challenge and be a Rhapsody Wonder today. For more information, please visit www.rhapsodyofrealities.org. Praise the Lord. We believe that you have been blessed also by today's article. Send us your testimonies and stories via email and we, we believe that someone will be blessed by your stories. What a glorious and productive time allotted to devote ourselves in meditating the Word of the Lord, a guiding light to all of us. It's been an awesome time sharing the devotional with you. Join us again tomorrow for another inspiring time on Rhapsody Dailies. And until then, keep, keep reading, reading your, your Rhapsody. Rhapsody.